Hello guys, it's Julia here, and today I have a video on the Dell Venue 8 Pro tablet, which I actually got this back in, I believe, July of 2014 as a birthday present. Now, with this tablet, essentially, I had it back then. It was my Windows 8 tablet. It was one of my first tablets I actually ever had, and I wanted to make a video showing how to reset it because... As you can see, when I swipe up, it says Patch Julia, which I don't go by that name anymore. I don't know why I did that. I think that was like back in like, you know, 2016 or 2017 or something. I can't remember, but I don't know why I put that. But essentially this tablet has an install date, believe it or not, of March 17th, 2019, which I guess I still went by that name back then, I don't know, but it's a Dell Venue 8 Pro 5830, and unfortunately I am going to be, you know, reinstalling this. I don't know why the boot time says 2023, I think the time might be wrong on the device. I think it might have a wrong time and date. Um, it looks like it does, it thinks it's 2023, as you guys can see right there, when it's not. So I'm gonna have to correct the time and date. But the last time this thing actually checked for updates was literally back in 2022. And it says it never did updates, but if I go to update history, you guys could see that it did, except they all failed apparently. So like, I don't know if Windows Update got cleared or what, but as you guys can see, it did have a lot of updates installed. It has 161 updates. So I believe that this has updates up to 2019 because I think that's when I was messing with it and when I might've made a video on it, I don't remember. But I think the reason the 2022 updates failed was probably due to having no internet connection or I didn't leave it on long enough or something like that. Checking all these updates have the exact same error code, so maybe I'll put that in my error lookup and see what that means, but that's besides the point, because in this video, I'm going to be resetting the tablet. Why? One, it has that name. Number two, it needs a clean start. Number three, there's a lot of junk on here. Well, not really a lot of junk, but like you actually can see like there's old Discord on here, which... I know for a fact that it would try to update if this was on the internet, but I don't have it on the internet right now, as you can see. If I double click on it, it doesn't even seem to open either. Actually, there it goes. So it's an older Discord from like 2019 or something. I would expect this loading animation to be older, but I have the older installer in the downloads folder, which I actually backed up. So I still have that. So I can easily extract the icon and I know that the older Discord won't work. The older Firefox, let's find out what version this is. A version from 2022. So maybe 2022 was the last time I actually used this, but I doubt I used it for much of anything. I probably just pulled it out to look at it and then put it away and it happened to connect to the Wi-Fi. But yeah, besides the point, I'm not sure how to reset this to factory settings. I think you just go to settings and reset through there and it will restore the factory image. I think there's a command to actually see um, the factory image. So like, give me one moment. So if you run the command to get information on the recovery environment, it gives you all this useful information. You guys can see the recovery is enabled. It knows the location. And it also has a recovery image location. So this does look like it does have the factory image. And I know with like Windows 8 and up is weird. It's like they store it there. So if you have to like do a reset through settings and I think that restores the actual image. I know I did that on my Toshiba when I got it. You know, the one from the recent video. Well, not too recent, but last year I got my old laptop again. Or might've been this year, I don't remember. But anywho, that's how I got the factory image. So we're just gonna reset this through settings. Now, I just want this, you know, to be reset and on a fresher start and who knows, maybe I'll use it for something. I don't know if I'd upgrade it to 10 or not, but Windows 8 is unsupported anyway. So what do you, let me guys know in the comments what you guys think I should do. But this video is just gonna show you guys me resetting it and also how, if anyone has this tablet or a tablet similar. So you saw I went to the charms bar on the side and I go to settings, change PC settings which by the way, I should probably fix the time and date really quickly so that doesn't screw anything up. Okay, so now that we have the time and date correct, we can actually reset the tablet. 
Weird enough, this tablet has event logs from 2013 and then jumps to 2019. So it looks like this um, 2019 event right here, if I can tap on it, but yeah. It's the first event that it ever got. So this is when it was actually in setup and I reset it the one time, which makes sense. So we have that. But other than that, I think it's time for a fresh start. Also, this is the information that shows in system. So it's got an Atom and two gigs of RAM and 32-bit OS, even though it's a 64-bit processor. And unfortunately, because the UEFI is 32-bit, I can't really boot much on this, which is a shame because I tried to boot Android before and it didn't even work. Anyways, let's reset it. So we go to the charms bar, change PC settings, update and recovery. And then once you're on this screen, you're going to go to recovery. And you guys can see we have refresh your PC without affecting your files. However, I already, you know, I don't need to refresh. I already backed up the data. Um, remove everything and reinstall Windows, which is what we want or advanced. Now, hopefully this actually does the factory image. So remove everything and reinstall Windows. Let's do that. It should detect the recovery partition and it should restore from the recovery. Plus I'm not on the internet, so it can't exactly download anything. So all your personal files and apps will be removed. Your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. Fine by me, just remove, all right. Now, it says it's going to restore all settings to their default. Reset. Bye-bye. Go reset yourself. So, hopefully, this is the factory, but we are about to find out. Hey, it's appearing. I was like, wait. So, I don't know what it'll say. Probably sign this PC or something. Reset or what? Okay, so resetting your PC, that's new. I thought it would say this PC, but it says your PC. Okay, maybe in Windows 8.1 it was different. I don't know. Now this should restore the factory image, hopefully, if it actually recognized it, because when I did this on that Toshiba, it did restore the factory image. So I'm going to let this run and then we'll see afterwards the results. But I did back up first, so. All right, so you guys can see it finally reset and we're at the region and language screen. Hopefully this is the factory image because I don't see any like Dell logo or anything. So I have no idea if this actually reset the way I wanted it to. All right, so we got the license terms for Windows 8. Oh, it does have the Dell update, so I assume it might be then, so. We're not going to put our information in that. And now we're at the setup screen. So now it's asking for the PC name. Now, I think I might've asset tagged it, but I'm not sure what the actual asset tag name is yet. So I forget what the old, the old computer name was, but I will just do um, JHL dash Dell or something for now because I usually start the, the um, computer names with JHL for me and then the asset number, but I don't even know if this has an asset number or not. So I'm just gonna set that for now. I'm gonna leave the default color. Um, it wants us to go to the internet, but we're gonna skip that for now. Custom settings. Why did the screen dim? I can barely see it now. Um, I'm just gonna leave that stuff default and that stuff default as well. And then this stuff is usually what I turn off. Yeah, all that turned off. And then Julia. So no more patch Julia. And now it's finishing. So hopefully this is the factory, but the fact it showed the, the Dell updates thing, it probably is, odds are, if it showed that in the setup. So we'll just have to get through and see. It, like, did it do a normal reset? Did it actually use the factory image to reset? Which is what I was aiming for. So we'll just have to see, but it should have.
All right, so it says let's start, and we're here. So it does have the Dell app, as you guys can see right there. So I think we're good. So same with the desktop, it is the Dell wallpaper. I'm going to tilt this. And you guys can see, yep, this definitely reset to the Dell stuff. So let's go to system. And as you can see, yep, it does have the Dell logo in there. So yeah, guys, uh, that's how you reset the Dell Venue 8 Pro back to factory. You can see we definitely gained some space from that. I think before we had like eight gigs or something. I can't remember what it was at but we did free up a bit of space and now it's reset. So all that old stuff is gone finally. I'll need to actually get the asset number. I'll need to also run Windows updates on this and probably get the update to fix it because I am certain it's probably not gonna wanna install updates. All right, guys, so here's a time lapse of me doing basic configuration on the tablet. As you guys can see, I couldn't get desktop info to run at first because it was a 64-bit copy. So I had to download a 32-bit copy, but even after that, it still wouldn't work. It kept displaying a ton of errors on the side. Even trying an older 32-bit copy I had didn't work either. So I don't know if that was the fact that the tablet's 32-bit or if it's the fact that it's very out of date and it just wouldn't display the information properly. But either way, I just gave up on that for now. And then I went to go to Nine Night and install some applications. However, some of the applications wouldn't install. I tried again, they still wouldn't. Probably again due to the fact that the tablet was out of date. So then I tried running Windows updates and of course it wasn't working. So I was correct about not getting this tablet to update because I even tried to install the update to fix updates and that update was saying, oh, it wasn't applicable to your computer. And yes, I did download the 32-bit copy because the tablet is 32-bit and it just wouldn't work. So then I'm like, hmm, is it because I don't have Windows 8.1 Update 1? Because this is basically Windows 8.1 RTM as there was no updates at all, as Windows 8.1 had like Update 1, Update 2, Update 3. So I downloaded Update 1, which came with a ton of other updates, which were probably prerequisites to install it. I installed all the prerequisites, rebooted, tried installing the actual update because it wouldn't even work. It just kept saying not applicable. So I'm like, okay, I should reboot. Still said not applicable. And then I'm just like, what's going on? So then I ended up trying to use DISM to apply the update manually. And it was saying there was a version mismatch. And at that point I just gave up and I'm just like, I'm at a loss here. I can't get this thing to update. So if you guys have any idea on why I can't get this tablet to update, feel free to leave a comment because I may come back to it one day and actually try and get it to update. But for the time being, I put it away because it made me very mad that day and I just couldn't get the thing to update, which is just very irritating. Anyways, you guys can watch the rest of the time lapse before the video ends. Before ending off the video, I would like to thank our channel members, which I just launched memberships a week ago. So if you guys want to join, feel free. It's not required, but it's if you want. But I would like to personally thank these people. So I'd like to thank Sumiri Yoshizawa, DJ1i28, Ritu, The Yellow Penguin, Dencorn, Overgreen, Cyclone, The Full Moon, Real V at Gina People, and KPO. You guys are awesome, and I really appreciate the support on this channel as I'm going to start uploading a lot more, especially next year. You guys will be seeing a lot more uploads, and it'll be great. Anyways, I'd like to end off the video as well by saying thanks for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Members will see this video a day early, and I'm glad to be uploading again. So, yeah, bye-bye for now, and happy holidays.